All right, time to talk to people. I think, uh, Dogi, got anything? We don't know when the attack will come, so this is a pretty tough situation. Oh, you sure it's okay for us to go out exploring? Well, truth be told, this might be tough even for Adol. No sweat, we can handle things here for a little while. It's a necessary risk to take, so Sahad, take care of that guy for me, okay? Huh, you two really are good buddies. Alright, you probably know my limits, but I'll give it my all. Wait, well, this is an L. This is a tough situation. However, the beasts are falling back, which gives us a great opening. Find out what's going on. I'm counting on you. We can't do any hunts. Only raids. Hmm. Yeah, not worth it. Not worth S ranking, unless there's a spirit elixir. I had something I wanted to discuss with you. Oh, is this is a quest? As you probably know by now, the ship's construction is nearly complete. I know this isn't the right time for. Actually, never mind. This is the perfect time for a ceremonial ship launching. That should make everyone happy. Yeah, I'll definitely raise everyone's spirits. However, it's a tradition to use white wine in a ceremonial ship launching. Obviously, it's going to be hard to find white wine on this island. But I talked to Thanatos, and he says he knows how to make something close enough. Apparently, you can make alcohol from fermented tree sap. Can you find free fermented sap for me? Sure thing. Where do we get those? Thanks, Adol. If you need help, you should talk to Thanatos. He should have more information for you. Sorry to dump this on you, but I really need that sap. If everything going on, please be careful while you're out exploring. Hmm. Uh, a chest. Or a grass times three, that's it? Seriously? Might as well get Sahad's event done with. Really sucks I cannot teleport freely anymore. Hey, just caught a pretty tasty looking fish. Can't let our stomachs go empty if we're gonna d be doing a lot of fighting, right? You should have some, Adol. Whoa. It's being boiled alive. Delicious. Man, am I stuffed. And I made plenty for everyone, too. I haven't eaten that well in a while. <laughs> Same here. This island gives me the willies, but at least the fish are fat and tasty. If it weren't for all the primordials, this would be a perfect fishing spot. Shame the captain weren't with us to enjoy it, though. I decided, after I get off of this island, I'm gonna pay my respects to the captain's family. That man did a lot for us. Him and me, we got the same sea in our blood. Wouldn't be right not to tell his kin about what happened. I'll come with you. That's why we need to get off this island. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Adol. Since we're talking about captains and all, that Captain Reed fella's been gnawing at me too. Falsely charged and dying alone, without ever seeing his family or crew again. Wish he had some descendants, so I could tell him the truth. I received word that my family has escaped and taken refuge on a small island in the Gaite Sea. The hair color of yours. You be hailing from Crete, Sea Dog? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah, uh, must be fake. Don't tell me you're descended from the pirate. Huh. I think it's the sense that might already know. Huh? Uh, yeah, I suppose. But what everyone else thinks they know ain't the only truth. Could he really be a pi have pirate blood in him? It's hard to tell. Hmm. Hmm. 
could be people out there what still believe in Captain Reed. All right. When I get back home, I'm telling the family all about what happened here. Everything I saw, everything I heard, everything. <laughs> I'm getting fire in my belly just thinking about it. Here's to a great departure, at all. Uh, is there really any confirmation that he is a descent, a descent of Captain Reed? Who knows? Hmm. Hmm. Dua. Oh, I got it. Hey, don't worry about Rakota. I'll take good care of her. Gua. Really should pick some veggies every now and then. Even if they don't amount to much healing. Listen, there's a limit to how much the farm can produce. It's impossible to feed everyone in the village. Yes, I understand. I'll try my best. It'll only last for a couple of days. Hurry. Can we just kill the weaker monsters outside of the village? I'm pretty sure there's a few giant moles that could make a pretty decent meat dish. And since we have a veggie garden here... Hmm. We can also pick crew berries and stuff too. <laughs> Blarg! Blarg! Wah! You scared me! I didn't think you'd do that! Are you planning to depart? I'll get ready straight away. No, not yet. It's not stopping. What is this strange feeling? I just had to, huh? Blarg! Hmm. I had a chance to check out the bulletin board. When I first started smithing with Orichalcum, I had a lot of trouble with it at first. But I finally have a pretty solid understanding of its properties. Now I can reforge your weapons so they're just as good as those made of pure Orichalcum. That being said, it took a hell of a lot of work for me to get this far. If you want me to forge Orichalcum armor, for example, it would take me a very long time just to refine the ore. Which is why I'm going to ask you for a favor. I need you to bring me some pure Orichalcum, high quality stuff with no impurities. I know this is asking a lot of you, but if I had some, I could make incredibly powerful armor like you've never seen, seen before. You do me this favor, and I guarantee you guys won't regret it. This is going to be a challenge on my end, too. Thanks in advance. Good luck to you. Shining armor. What should I upgrade? Nothing can be upgraded it? here. I managed to max it out How can for I help now. Today? Uh, Dragon Breastplate is going to be tough to get. I barely have enough just for one dragon armor. You get a dragon breastplate, you're gonna need really high end shit. All right. It's not like it matters, because enemies are just gonna one shot me no matter how well equipped I am. May I have a moment of your time? You must have a quest. Ugh, motorcyclist. I'm determined that you are a man in possession of considerable skill. Hmm, such that you are worthy of christening yourself adventurer. You're pretty skilled yourself. Oh, but I have yet to demonstrate to you the full extent of my capabilities. Hmm, you're very bit as per you're every bit as perceptive as I hoped you to be. It is because I acknowledge your skill that I have requested this favor from you. I recently discovered tracks not far from the village that have been left by our primordial. Oh, come on. The creature may still be in the vicinity of its tracks. However, I see no need to involve the rest of the village in this matter. So what say you? Will you join me in tracking down this beast? Naturally, I expect you to fight the primordial should we find it. Let me get ready first. Understood. I shall wait here for you. Please let me know when you are ready to leave. So I have to what, solo this primordial. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not good. Huh. I heard there was a 
solo boss or adult that involved the primordial, but is that the hmm. I don't think I've been the guy. It's actually have it. Actually, Al has to fight a bunch of, a bunch of like six primordials. That's that's pretty fucked up. It's gonna be an endurance race. I'll be very careful about how we ration our our food, but being stingy won't help anyone. And this is the time to show the skills of a resourceful housewife. There's a reason why I was able to raise six boys. I didn't think it would be so tough to all the way to the end. Well, now we're here. All we gotta do is give them all we got. We're counting on you to keep up the exploration. Damn, we don't even know when the primordials will attack us. Hey, old man, you got strategies. Now's the time. As a matter of fact, I do. It's seen me through many a rough patch, and it's my ultimate secret. Humor, humor, I say. At times like these, it's more essential than ever. Oh, that's a stupid question. You're looking for fermented sap? That stuff's pretty rare. Well, I'm sure you will be able to find some. I found some myself on the tree growing in a swamp. If you're going to look anywhere, I recommend swamps and marshes. Seriously? Swamp jungle? Here as well. Great River Valley. I vaguely remember a swamp-like area there. Hmm. Oh well. We should be able to hold out for a while yet. Come on, I'll move your ass and find something. Beasts are noisy. Island is noisy. Everyone is reliable. Go, Adol. Go, everyone. I'll do my best. Deliver messages. Uh, consecutive battles? That'll get the blood pumping. I may be old, but I have no plans to offer my flesh up as food for these beasts. I'm going to give it all my all. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Hello. Static and please, please, I please. drop. I don't want to waste any of my bottles. Please come again. Our, our supply of herbs is dwindling. That's okay, I can make do with what we have. Leave this to me, I'll be waiting for good news. Hmm. Things are really... Really... Ugh. Feels like something is about to happen. What, with so many primordials coming? But stopping now won't resolve anything at all. If you're prepared, let's go. The number of primordials is clearly abnormal. Everyone seems to be tired, so we must find the cause of haste. The village outskirts must be very dangerous, I assume. Let's repair ourselves and go against Darme. Or Gendarm. No matter how many primordials come, we will never give up. Isn't that right, Adol? That's right. For some reason, I feel more courageous hearing that from you. Adol, please be careful when you go out. You can take care of the village yourselves. I do not have a good feeling about this. Ugh. Hmm, it would seem our predicament has inspired everyone to shine j just that much brighter. I will not be outdone. I must find a way, some means by which to outshine everyone else. Hmm. Times are as tough as can be, but my family and friends are with me, and that's enough to see me through. Please take care. Tailoring raids, material gathering, and even taking care of Luke. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Alright, time to get to work. My reputation is now 170. That's still not enough. Still... Ugh. Anything new to craft here? Yes, bone necklace. Hmm. If I could make more saint rings, that would really help. 
Essence Shield, Thunder Gauntlet, Master Gauntlets. Those look pretty OP. This is a special. This is a special. This well, come again. Which one do you want? Hellfire Gauntlet. That's burn. Battle Armlet. Hmm. See ya. Does that mean you have the next tier glove yet? No. Please come again. Oh well. Okay. Hey, Yaddle, I make tea. Let's drink it together. I prepared this tea just like how Laxia taught me. The aroma should be different. What do you think? Tastes good. now oh I made you a necklace from the stone you gave me it's just like mine now we'll match you're on and Allison taught me how to make it it's my masterpiece I'll put it on you right now hold still what does it look like Ta-da! wow that looks really great on you thank you <laughs> No, thank you! I'm so happy I met everyone! You all know a bunch of stuff that I couldn't have learned from father or my books. I can make new teas, cook new meals, do my own sewing, and use all sorts of tools now. I bet the outside world has all kinds of stuff for me to learn. Just thinking about what's waiting for me out there makes me so excited! Hmm. Feel the same way. We'll have to say goodbye when we leave the island. Hmm. Oh, there's stuff even you don't know too. Now I'm even more curious about the outside world. I'll never forget what everyone taught me. I have so many family members now. It makes me feel all warm inside. If anybody in the family is ever in trouble, I'll zip over and help them out. By the way, Father says we're cut from the same cloth. I think that means we're both adventurers. So let's have a contest. Whoever sees more stuff than the other person wins. Bring it on. <laughs> Deal. Anyway, the first thing I'm going to do when I get off this island is grow up and fill out. I'm talking ba ba boom. You better call dibs now before someone else does. Is there a choice for that? Nope. Huh. Rakota style obtained. There. Hopefully it doesn't strain my GPU in any way. Okay, that's pretty much everyone. Oh, maybe I should try his quest. Wait, let's give let's give out some gifts to the other castaways. Glad they are sheep. My this is my what a splendid sheep. The one I had was lost when the ship sank. Hmm, the size is perfect too. This is very handy. Thank you. The sword is magnificent. <laughs> this is a nice sword given to me when I won a Colosseum tournament. The Emperor gave it to me personally, so it's a source of pride. Hmm. <laughs> My blood is starting to boil, so I'm going to train a little. You should join me. My stomach hurts! Bring it on! That's the spirit. Let's triple the intensity. Approval increased. Hmm. Okay, we have to give the ruby to Ed, I think. Whoa, what the? What was that? Push through the wall a bit. At all. Huh? 
This is, is this a ruby? It has a very high purity. No, I can't accept it. It's, this, is, this is too valuable. Man up! Material for a gift. Man up! Man up, huh? So I should make something with this and give it to Allison? Heh, <laughs> alright. Thank you, Adol. This is nice of you. I actually haven't given Allison a proper ring yet. It would be great if I could make this into a wedding band. She'll love it. Yes, I, I agree. I'll go talk to Yuron right away. Yuron instructed Ed and the ruby ring was soon complete. Adol. Thank you, Adol. I've made her the best gift ever. I actually have a good time in mind for me to spring this on her. When that time comes, I'll let you know. Hope you'll be there. Oh, you didn't get a final <laughs> event yet. Maybe soon you will. Hmm. And someone wants this tea set, but who? Hmm. You, friends? Yes, apparently. Adult. Oh, a half-decent tea set. This is a D. Granzel piece. It's an antique tableware set to make any tea, make tea taste better. It's my favorite tableware line, Truth. Glad to hear it. I'm actually taken aback. Thank you very much. I'm quite charmed that you found this and are giving it to me as a gift. You're a soft-hearted man and quite sharp. As I thought, you're somewhat similar to my master. Really? Yes. Yes, now that I get a good look at you, even your face is similar. Mm, excuse me, I just had something on my mind. No, an adult, do you have time right now? Friends invite adult to have a seat and through an impromptu tea party. Should they see as a refreshing aroma due to the Tolmoni blend from the si Isle of Siren? Siren. Snacks included. Yes, snacks include tiramisu and peach mandolins. How do you even make these? <laughs> hmm, lifting the spirits of one's master is the butler's duty. At least do, don't worry about the minor details and enjoy. Anyway, using such beautiful tableware makes the tea party look extravagant. I'll have to pour some tea for my lady in the near future. Hmm, I can't wait to see the face she makes. How's my approval rating? Not that high. Right. Okay, time for one of the worst quests ever. Let's go. Alright, allow me to guide us. I just hope I don't get killed. I may have to use up a lot of items just to survive, seriously. <sighs> it didn't let me bring any party members for some reason. Worst part is, I won't be able to revive Adol because he's alone. I saw the tracks around here. This is such BS, seriously. More tracks. I only observed one set when I first came here. Come on. Ah! These fuckers. Uh, our guests have arrived. I fear we may have bitten off more than we can chew. Two of us can handle them all. Hmm, both claim to be sure. It might be wise to evenly distribute our foes between us. Best of luck to you, Adol. Seriously.
That was horrible. The beast rate finally quieted. You knew you took him out so easily. Oh dear. oh dear, I can scarce believe how many of these beasts actually appeared. My initial assessment was far too lenient. You idiot! Please accept my most sincere apologies. You better give me a lot of a reputation points for this, or I'll be very pissed. You don't really need to apologize. Like, hell, you have to- You need to quit working with the Alexia family and serve as my uh, uh, luggage-carrying guy for the rest of your life. For put, putting me against all those primordials. Gah! You really don't need to apologize. But that's a nice thing to say. No, my inability to foresee this outcome was a grievous error on my part. This won't do. This won't do at all. And I solemnly promised my lord too. I would ask that you not reveal the details of this incident to Mistress Laxia. In truth, Lord Roswell gave me one final order before his departure. He released me from my duty to serve him so that I could serve his family from that day on. In his honor, I have kept a watchful eye on Mistress Laxia over the years. That is why I cannot afford to make a single error in judgment. I still have much to learn, I'm afraid. The rest of your side are in trouble. <laughs> oh. Hmm, duly noted. I appreciate the offer. Now then, having witnessed your prowess, I have one more favor that I wish to ask of you. If it's not too much trouble on your part, can you assist me in forwarding this batch? No! Ugh! Not that one, too! That one shot a kill, one hit kill uh, primordial. Jolly good, to arms then! No! I can't do it! No more! Please! I died so many times just to get this damn quest done. Thank you very much for helping me, Adol. No, thank you. That's one less thing to worry about. Agreed, but we should bolster our defenses all the same. Adol, friends! Where have you been? I was worried about you. Oh, my apologies. Our business took longer to resolve than anticipated. You don't seem like you're about to tell me what exactly is going on. What have you two been up to? Look at you, Adol. You're covered in dirt and your collar has been out of place. My word, what on earth did you get yourself into? The huff, Lexia began to primp Adol's clothes. This display calls to mind vivid memories of Mistress Lexia and her father. Oh dear, why would observing this give rise to such sentiment? But that goes for you too, friends. Hey, are you listening? Huh, of course. And I might say, you two are the ideal image of a devoted husband and wife. Uh, a what? Um... Friends, how do you say something so, so, unnecessary? Aha! A great job! Pumpkin pie recipe. Was it worth it? That was fucking horrible. God damn it. That was one of the worst quests ever. Well, if not, I have all the rest, most of the recipes. There's probably a few more out there. All right, it's done. Like that. Right, Ugh. Why, man? Why? <laughs> Just why? Ugh. Hello, Adol. I expect you to be a man greater than the word alone suggests. The timing might be poor, but may I have a moment? Ugh. Things may be calm now, but you never know when a primordial might appear. At all. Do you believe we will survive this experience? Hell nah! Everything will be okay. That's what Adol would say, but me? I would say, <laughs> I no, we're fucked. I hear you say that. At all. No, Sir Adol. I apologize for my impertinence, but I must ask a favor of you. This situation is without precedent, and I will lay my life on the line to keep us safe. However, should the worst happen to befall me, please look after Mr. Slaxia in my stead. Uh, 
Alexia must be dear to you. <coughs> <laughs> but of course, from a young age, Mistress Laxia has always conducted herself with pride and demonstrated compassion and deference toward others. However, she struggles to put aside that pride and come to terms with her own inexperience. As her loyal servant, I find her impatience to be vexing and worrying in equal measure. But I believe the time will soon come when Mistress Laxia no longer requires my service. She has grown more wise, thanks to you. I believe her pride and determination will prove to be valuable assets to her now. And I believe she can overcome any hardship facing House Roswell. Hmm. <laughs> the future is promising indeed. You have to see that future. <laughs> Duly noted. You speak true. I cannot give up. However, there is something else that I still expect from you. Though it might be more fitting to say, you still have a responsibility to uphold. You're not trying to set me up with her, are you? Don't worry, I'll get us out of here. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You are just so much like Lord Roswell. Huh? In any case, I will continue to serve Mistress Laxia for the time being. Thank you for everything at all. Uh, even though I used this savage mask, it was still a pretty close call. But it allowed me to get enough DPS in, but even that, that required me to be very good at flash guarding. Ugh. How much reputation did I get for that? Not much. Damn. Something new on Nameless Coast? Hmm. I wonder what that's all about. So many quest things here and there. Hmm. Will I lose my chance to get the Nameless Coast event if I try to go to Gendarme right now? I have no clue. I mean, it would make sense to... I'd like to go to Gendarme first so I can unlock my, all the warp points up north. That would be... That would be the same thing to do after using up all my items just trying to survive that fucking quest. Okay, Mishi, I might as well just give you all my food now. Yup, this is the final cutscene from Mishi. Mission, mission, mission! I've never been this full before. Take my most prized possession. Earth Orb, what does that do? Hmm, this must be rare. This is, without question, a piece of essence equipment from the Eternian era. Are you sure we can have this something so valuable? Mishi Shi. Hmm. He, huh, even I understood what that means. It's saying, take it. That's right, good job, Asahad. Thank you, Mishi. Mishishi! You're very welcome. Also, since he's so full, he doesn't have any more food. Yeah, well, it did wolf down all that food pretty fast. Hmm. You should get going now. Safe travels, Mishi. Hmm, farewell. I'm gonna trigger the cutscene and see what happens. I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to. To get the uh, 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 get to that one question mark thing, but who knows? Sometimes the guide does things in the order that I don't like get to do uh, uh, go in. A lot of guides do that for some reason. The primordial population has definitely increased. Huh. What's that? We have to fight it. Look down, the great tree of origins. It's a great tree pooping them out. That must be it. It's all foggy. Don't tell me the great trees use up primordial to distract Donna. Fuck that tree. We might need to burn it down. Is that fog? It doesn't look like the fog we saw with the ghost ship. 
Yes, it's localized entirely around the Great Tree. It almost resembles a cocoon of sorts. Has the Great Tree always been able to do that? No, I've never seen it do this before. What's happening here? L look at that! It's producing more primordials from that fog? Damn. The plant is literally creating primordials to kill everything, huh? Shit. They're the w That's how the primordials spawn so endlessly. They look like the one that attacked the village. Those primordials predate the Eternian era. How is that possible? Are you saying those primordials came from the fog? We can't determine anything from up here. At all. I'm worried about the village. Well... Indeed. We don't know when it might come under attack again. Like Hummel said, the Great Tree may very well be the cause. Burn it down! Let's check in with the village before we make our way to the Great Tree. I hope I don't lose my opportunity. I bird. Owl checked into Castaway Village to confirm their situation and share what he had discovered. According to Dogi, attacks against the village had become more frequent, and the situation was more dire than ever before. In spite of that, Dogi assured Adol that he and the others were up to task for def of defending the village. At Dogi's urging, Adol and the others made their way to the Great Tree, which had become enshrined by a mysterious fog. I can still can't fucking teleport. Fuck! Really? Oh hell no! Nah. I can't farm any dragon tree treasures like this. I can't farm any of that. They're really screwing me over, aren't they? Seriously? You gotta be shitting me! Put new enemies all over the place. We have to rediscover every fucking save point. That'd be really annoying. No, just no. That's not fair. You can't do this to us, game. This isn't even fair anymore. Shit. How are we supposed to deal with this? Well, at least this did not disappear. This marker. Seriously, locked us out of all the stuff we need to f farm healing items. That's bullshit. Oh. Okay, there's something going on here. Oh. A boat. Hey, Adol. Does this wrecked boat look familiar to you? That's our boat. Yes, that's right. This is the boat that Sir Carlin took. He must have drifted all the way here. Seems like a waste of a good boat. Can we fix it up and use it? Well, maybe we can if we replace what's broken. What will we use this boat for, Rakoda? Well, for this boat, I can go places I've never been before. Like... There! A lonely island. Mm, that th island, huh? It might be possible to get there by boat. Yes, and there could be more castaways there, too. She's right. Should we fix this boat at all? It might prove useful after all. Adol alerted the village and had people bring all the tools and materials they needed. Then once everything was assembled, they fixed the boat. For the boat? Yes. Everyone hopped into the boat and they started rowing toward the small island. What could be waiting for us here? Engraved pen, a gift. Oh yeah, I better take a look over here. There's any fish. There's supposed to be new fish and new enemy catches too. Hmm. 
Solitude Island. All right. What's fighting today? Well, What's I can't believe I missed today? that one. I hope it's not the enemy fish. I would suck. Because I'm not ready. Go on. Feels like a big one. Please be an ally fish. Feels Please like be an one. edible fish. Fuck me. Level 70? Are you fucking with me? New location discovered. Great. Magna Carpa. Well, at least I can teleport back here anytime I want now. Did it disappear? Good, it did. That was weird. Okay, seriously, can I just get a fish that won't kill me? I don't want to take on a level 70 enemy. I'm too weak for it. Here we go. Try to get it with less death. You can always save scum these fish anyway. This is going great. Put up a fight. I hope it doesn't put up a literal fight. Feels like a big one. Almost there. Yes! This is pretty good. A new one! Great Tree Lumber and Ancient Lumber. Yes, that's a good catch. Oh, another good catch. I need I needed more of those rainbow jewels. Here we go. What's biting today? Move over, bird. Yes! A treasure chest! Alright, I need to take a break right now. Hmm. Can't believe this is well it's building. Huh. Okay, let's go in here. Monolith fragment. What do we use these for again? I forgot. List. It should be in the key items, right? Do I even have any other monolith fragments with me? I... Hmm. There's someone on the other side that I can get to. Seems rather large for a pick card. <laughs> Ouch. Do you hear that, Carlin? I'm so famished, I can hardly move. <sighs> need food, need food. Gah. There's no food growing on this island. No, nothing to harvest. You! Sir Carlin? You're alive? Sir who? Ha! <laughs> the hallucinations have set in. At long last, the end has come for me. Sir Carlin! It's really us! What? Have you truly come to rescue me? I've nearly died when that monster sank my boat. I've been stuck on this island for days with not but filthy water to drink. If you're not a hallucination, then please, rescue me at once. Gah, sounds like you've been through a lot. But you've done well to survive this long. I admit, you did cause a lot of problems for us. But in hindsight, that all seems so trivial now. Let's bring him back to the village, Adol. Everyone thought Sir Carlin had drowned after being attacked by the Okeanos. But miraculously, though somewhat worse for wear, he was discovered living on a small island. And so, with Adol leading the way, Sir Carlin returned to Castaway Village.
Oh, it's been too long. Oh, is that... No way, Sir Carlin! I thought he was dead! Well, this is quite a surprise. Ah, oh, my dear friends, come to greet me, have you? Well done defending the homestead in my absence. Yes, well done indeed. I have mixed feelings about your praise. Wow, I can't believe we almost forgot what a jerk this guy was. As I explained before, Sir Carlin, we're nearly finished repairing a means of escape. But the primordial raids have become quite vicious, and we would really appreciate your help. Yeah, so we can buff the primordials? Hell nah. Huh? Why should I help you? I thought protecting this village was your job. If you're short staffed, why not ask that belligerent captain of yours to, con to contribute? You didn't tell him? No, we didn't have a chance. Listen, Sir Carlin. The captain passed away. Nameless got him after he went missing. Oh, I see. I wasn't particularly fond of him, but... He was brave to the very end. Yes, of course. Anyway, Castaway Village is in pretty dire straits right now. We need you to be more cooperative and stop being such a stuck-up jerk. Otherwise, you might not leave this place alive. I understand the situation just fine. <laughs> this village has clearly become no less rude in my absence. Um, where are you going? I need to be alone for a little while. I'm tired, if you'll excuse me. Is he feeling okay? Who knows, maybe he just needs some time to let everything sink in. Well, he does seem a little different. Not by much, but a little. I'm glad he's safe, but if he causes trouble again, we're gonna have problems. We need to be careful with him. Yeah, at any rate, we need to let the other villagers know he's back. You've done a great work today, Adol. I'm pretty sure I'm sure you're pretty exhausted. For now, let's just all keep an eye on Sir Carlin. He has rejoined. Hmm. Well, where'd he go? Hmm. Oh, some active quests here and there. Wait, what? Oh, you two have a... I didn't notice you two had... I should have checked earlier. Curses. Where the hell's Carlin? I... Oh, he's at the grave. I see. Excuse me, Adol. Would you like to have some tea with us? Does it taste? Rakota taught me how to make it. It's good. <laughs> you think so? Ah, oh, that's a relief. Good job, darling. I know you delivered the baby safe and sound, but you should still rest until you're fully recovered. You're already taking care of the baby. Let me handle everything else. <laughs> Thank you, but I'm actually feeling much better these days. Oh, my ring? Ed gave it to me the other night, beneath the beautiful light of the twin moons. <laughs> I was reminded of the night that we first met, so it just seemed like the perfect time to give it to her. Well, perfect timing. <laughs> yes, it was such a special moment. By the way, I heard that you found the ruby for this ring, Adol. Actually, I bought it from... I think... I'm pretty sure I bought it from Dina. Thank you very much. <laughs> Luke seems happy too. I can't believe how much you've done for us, Adol. If it wasn't for you, the three of us wouldn't even be here right now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, you really are our hero. If we ever get off this island, and you happen to be in Greek, please. Pay us a visit whenever you have time. I'll prepare you the best set of adventuring gear. <laughs> I wonder how big our little one will be by then. I hope we meet again someday. 
All right. That's the, that's it for their event. Ah, lag. 184 reputation. I'm almost there. Did getting Carlin to rejoin us increase the reputation a bit? This was not the end I would have predicted he would meet. He was an impertinent sort, but his last words of advice were sound enough. And I will admit he was diligent in fulfilling his duties. I must ask, however... Why isn't there a grave for me? I demand an explanation. Um... There was no body to bury. Oh, which can only mean that you had faith I would survive. Yeah, such loyalty is commendable. I always knew you had a promise. Huh. These choices don't really affect reputation at all, do they? Hmm. Yeah, it really sucks about our item situation, but what can I do? Anyway, so there's supposed to be tree sap here. Fermented sap. Alright. Pretty much gonna have to rely on mangoes for the next boss. That really sucks. Who would design it like that? Seriously. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna go find a sap in this area. Hmm, it's over there, but it's near a bunch of really tough enemies, too. Yeah. Take this. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> One shot these guys. Yeah. Your turn, oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. One shot. Let's go! Yeah! Yeah! Switch! Uh, it's gonna be tough getting there with all these enemies lurking about. I'll just try to observe. I'll just try to examine the object without engaging the enemies. That seems like the best solution. Fermented sap obtained. Yep, yeah, well, let's get out of here. Run! I still need to continue the story to get the last bit of fermented sap, though. That sucks. Damn it. How can they lock us out of every teleport up here? Including the ones we need to farm healing items. That's messed up. Ugh. What do I do? Why? Why are we suddenly unable to teleport? <sighs> okay, Shoe Bill, take this fish. Still not enough. Tough customer as usual. Alright, Phanatos, here's a pen. At all. I will present the Phanatos with the engraved pen as a gift. Hmm. hmm, this pen is... It's terribly faded, so it's hard to tell, but it says... Memo. And there's an engraving on of my initial, T. No doubt about it, this is the pen I lost when I first arrived on this island. I looked ages for it, to no avail. <laughs> ah, thank you, Adol. Seems important. Let's see. Well, it's a memorable possession. I bought this pen when I first started my journeys as an explorer. Honestly, it was a selfish purchase at the time. But that's why it's motivated me to live up to the pen's value. It cheapens it if I fix it up every time it breaks. What's that mean? It used to say, Memento mo Mori. Remember that you must die. Well, it's supposed to motivate you to do your best from the get-go. Now I want to add humor to the engraving somehow. Anyway, as an explorer, I can't just let you leave me in the dust, Adol. This pen and I still got a lot of work left to do together. 
Oh, he's, he does have a final event now. Hopefully this will push me closer to 200. I made some coffee. Would you like some? Seattle, do you know what coffee is? Never heard of it or drank it before. I, I've heard about it. Oh, is that so? So this will be your first time drinking it, huh? I can't wait to see your reaction. Well, go on. Try it. Is it going to be super bitter? <laughs> Looks like you're not a fan of the taste. Just so you know, coffee's appeal is its bitter flavor. Ricotta can make a fine cup of tea, but every so often, I get a craving for coffee. Do we even have coffee beans on this island? It's definitely an acquired taste, but the more you drink, the more you'll come to like it. Anyway, coffee is made from beans that grow on a certain tree. A tree that is indigenous to the African continent. That coffee you're drinking is made from beans I acquired years ago. <laughs> you sure perked up once I mentioned Africa. I might have mentioned it before, but I've spent many years researching Africa. I've even set foot in the southern region of the Sahala Desert. <laughs> Impressive, huh? Anyway, I told you that story so I could tell you this. Before you can venture into unexplored lands, you need two things. Connections and a lot of money. But Adol never starts the game with money. Thankfully, I managed to secure funding and support from a certain noble associate of mine. Maybe Lexia's father? Two years back, no. we crafted a large-scale plan for an expedition to Africa. But during the early planning stages, I wound up stranded on the Isle of Seyrin. The situation seemed hopeless at first, but exploring this island turned out to be much more enjoyable than I expected. And on top of that, meeting Rakota was truly a blessing. At my age, I never expected to meet anyone I would care about so much. I've been running solo all my life, so having someone to look after feels... I know I've said this to you before, but if I get off this island, I want to show Rakota everything the world has to offer. That way, she can be an independent woman. There's a good chance Rakota and I will end up seeing Africa together. Who knows? We might even run into you again, at all. If that day comes, we'll catch up over a cup of coffee. Yumi and Rikoda, just Yumi and Dogi. Huh. I can't have all four? Curse you. Choice. Just Yumi and Rikoda, just Yumi and Dogi. Hmm. <laughs> yes. I'm sure she'll have grown into a fine lady by then. So you better not go falling for her. At least not while I'm still alive. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> and that's it for... Uh, uh, um, let's see. Did that change? Yeah, only two points, but it's better than nothing. If I can just find... Uh, if I could just complete a few more quests and maybe save a few more castaways, I think I could pull it off. Huh. If only. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this Let's Play of Ease 8 Lacrimosa of Donna, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.